Assalamu alaikum everybody. I'm so sorry for not being back in the channel for a long time. And as you can see, I'm not in my room and I'm not even in my house. I'm in Pakistan. And you know, like, I had to get used to the new routine, the eighth grade is tough, I had exams. <laughs> but don't worry, I have been reading. I read the whole Percy Jackson series, I read The Kite Runner, and I am currently reading The 1000 Year Old Boy. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. So the Percy Jackson series is about gods, mythological monsters, and it has a high sarcasm level. The series has five books, and today I am going to be reviewing the first book. So this 12-year-old boy goes on a field trip, and let me summarize it. He almost gets killed by his pre-algebra teacher, and then his Latin teacher slash tour guide throws him a pen, and then when Percy uncaps the pen, it turns into a giant sword. And then he vaporizes his pre-algebra teacher. No big deal, right? Just like a normal field trip. Then Percy realizes he's a half-god, half-man, which means a half-blood. He realizes this when he's on a trip with his mother and then Grover arrives at their door. Remember, like the first scene I told you that Grover is his friend? Well, Grover arrives at their door drenched and without pants and for feet he has hooves, which means he's a satire, a half goat, half man. When Grover explains the lightning, Percy Jackson gets it. So Zeus, the god of lightning, chases Percy Jackson with lightning and a mythological monster named the Minotaur half bull half man and then percy must venture off to camp half blood so percy jackson finds out that he is the prime suspect of someone stealing zeus's master lightning bolt and that's why zeus was so mad so percy must venture off in an adventure and find the master lightning bolt and retrieve it in 10 days time so percy takes a prophecy and realizes that one who calls him his friend will betray him in the end. <gasps> now this is an amazing book, I absolutely loved it. There was everything it needed. I would not like to spoil the rest of the book, but I can't keep my mouth shut for one detail. Percy is the son of Poseidon, aka the god of the sea. I think I am the son of Poseidon. So now I would like to read the back of the book, so hooray, more detail for you guys. Percy Jackson is about to be kicked out of boarding school again. And that's the least of his troubles. Lately, mythological monsters and the gods on Mount Olympus seem to be walking straight out of the pages of Percy's Greek mythology textbook and into his life. And worse, he's angered a few of them. Zeus's master lightning bolt has been stolen and Percy is the prime suspect. Now, Percy and his friends have just 10 days to find and return Zeus's stolen property and bring peace to a warring Mount Olympus. But to succeed in his quest, Percy will have to do more than catch the true thief. He must come to terms with his father who abandoned him, solve the riddle of the oracle, which warns him of a betrayal by his friend, and unravel a treachery more powerful than the gods themselves. And before we would end this video, I would give a lot of thanks to my friend Vortex out there for getting me into the Percy Jackson series. So link's gonna be in the description for his channel and give him lots of love. Anyways, this book was written by Rick Riordan. I would give it a 5 out of a 5 because I absolutely loved it and I love all of his books. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell and hit that like button. The fact of the day is only 5% of Earth's water has been discovered. Who knows what lies behind? Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the So the Percy Jackson series, sorry. No! So Percy finds out that Zoo is no. Bye, have a great time. Well, that's all, folks.